So if you're like me, you're probably used to your Chromebook updating itself whenever it's needed. And that's definitely true of the software. But what about the firmware? It was only when I came to get my Chromebook ready for sale that I noticed there was a firmware update waiting. Let's take a look. So the firmware in question relates to the trusted platform module, the TPM, on certain Chromebooks. If you're not familiar with that, it's a chip related to the security, uh, the encryption of your device. I'm not going to go into more detail on that in this video, but you can certainly look that up. What I will do is link to all the articles that I am showing you, so if you want to read more on it, you can. Um, it actually dates back to 2017, um, so somehow, you know, this certainly passed me by, may have passed you by, and you'll see why um, I hadn't updated my Chromebook, my Lenovo C330, with it previously. Uh, one thing I would say is, and as Lauren Weinstein kind of uh, mentions in this blog post that I'll, I'll link to, um, don't panic. Um, I think when you actually understand the risk involved, certainly if you're not a corporate user and you are using strong passwords, you're probably not going to be too concerned. But for me, if there's an update out there that I know about, you know, I tend to keep my tech up to date. And certainly if it's something that does relate to security, if it's low overhead to me, I'm going to go ahead and update it. So the first and most low risk way of checking if the update applies to your Chromebook is to first check that list that I linked to and just showed you as to whether your Chromebook type is listed. And then secondly, in your Chrome browser, come here to chrome hyphen slash slash system and do a control F to find um, TPM or TPM underscore version. And then you can see to the right of that, if you click expand as I have here, you'll get an entry for firmware version. You can then take that actual string against there, the actual version it gives you, and compare it back to that article where it listed the affected versions. So that's method number one. So method number two to see if there is an applicable firmware update for your TPM on your Chromebook is actually closely following the same process you would use to apply the update, but we can go all the way up to the point just before. However, as you'll see from this page I'm sharing, big word of warning, the full process, if you decide to apply the update, involves a factory reset of your Chromebook. Uh, you may be familiar, that's termed a power wash in terms of Chrome OS and resetting your Chromebook. But that means, of course, that any uh, local files you have on your Chromebook will be gone. Um, it's going to be back to like it was new before you logged on. So please, please, please read this article I'm going to link to, fully understand it, make sure even if you're not planning on applying the update or applying the power wash, you just want to check. I'd still say even at that point, if you're a bit unsure, it's well worth backing up your files if you have stored things locally, ensuring that your cloud services are all in sync and have uploaded and backed up your data. Um, yeah, just a word of warning at this point, please be careful, please understand what a power wash is before going any further with the video. So to get to the power wash in Chrome OS, I'm just clicking in the bottom left hand corner, typing in power wash and finding that in settings. You can, of course, go directly through the settings menu, however else you choose to get to that. Um, and you'll get to this screen and you can see, again, it clearly warns you that it's going to remove all accounts and going to reset your device to be like new. So you can click reset once. Uh, you get this warning then that a restart is required before you can proceed with the power wash. So again, if you're sure, you can press restart at this point. So once you've rebooted, you'll come to this reset, this Chrome device screen. Importantly, down here in the bottom left, if there is a firmware update available, you're gonna see this message, update firmware for added security with a learn more link. And that's a checkbox that you actually have to tick to select to update the firmware. Now you can just hit the cancel button at this stage and get out of the power wash um, and then just log back in normally and carry on using your machine. So this is actually how I came to learn that my Lenovo C330 had an update. I was simply performing a power wash, getting ready to wipe all my data off it to sell the device um, when I noticed there was this checkbox available and this firmware update available. I, I hadn't looked at any of the articles or checked the firmware version that the TPM was running, etc., and known there were some vulnerabilities. Uh, so that's why I described this approach kind of as a method too, but of course it's more risky because you're going through the power wash um, settings at, at the same time, the process to do that. Um, if you were happy that none of your data on your Chromebook was important and you backed up anything that was, you could of course at this stage tick that box to say update the firmware for added security and then click the blue power wash 
button and then you'd see it run through updating the firmware and power washing the device, resetting it back to new. So that's it for this video guys. If it has been useful for you, if you like me were unaware there was a firmware update out there for your Chromebook, please do give a thumbs up to like the video. If you do enjoy this kind of content, check out the other Chromebook and tech content on the channel. And if you consider subscribing, that'd mean a lot. Cheers guys.